Have you ever wanted to buy a piece of art but just not known how to get started? Or perhaps you're a seasoned collector and want that signature piece? Well, I'm Kelsey Hubbard and I'm here with Andrea Cashman. She's the director of the Andrea Rosen Gallery in New York with some tips on how we can choose art. And you know, let's start with the beginners who are just starting out because it can be very intimidating sure. to know where to go, what to buy. So what are the first steps they need to know to get started? I mean, I think one of the first things, and, and my advice would be not to be intimidated, there's a wealth of resources, especially for people in New York, to come to a gallery, come to all of the galleries in Chelsea, Lower East Side, the ones uptown, and um, to not be afraid to ask questions. You know, the great thing about a gallery is you can come in, you can look, you can take from it what you want, you can walk in and walk out immediately if it doesn't strike you uh, visually from, from the get-go. So what would be the key piece of advice before someone buys that first piece of artwork? What, what are, you, are you looking for, which is what your personal taste is? Should you take into consideration the resale value perhaps down the road? Uh, what, what should people be thinking about? You know, my advice for someone starting out is to collect what you love. Um, and that means learning. You know, that means uh, in order to have an eye in, in you know, looking at, at, at visual art, it's just as literature or uh, music, the more you know, the more you'll be able to see and understand. I think one of the best resources actually, in fact, um, for someone in that position is also to go to an art fair because that affords you, um, you know, a space. You can see works of, from galleries in Rome and China um, and, it, and it gives you an opportunity to uh, talk with each of those gallerists and really get a sense for what you like on an even more international scale. This is a work by uh, David Altmid, who is an incredible sculptor um, working with plaster here. This is a piece called Wave. Um, and, you know, David's really uh, interested in um, sort of the architecture of, of the body and architecture of the space. So here, you know, in this almost sort of frieze motif of three panels, he's created this incredible sort of gesture that emulates a wave, but is also really about um, dealing with the, with the space in the sense that the hands are sort of both creating and sort of destroying the work itself. What about commission pieces? Do collectors often want to uh, meet an artist and perhaps collaborate on something in the future, or is that not, not really how it works? I mean, I think collaboration maybe not so much because the artist, you know, has their singular vision and a seasoned collector will really want to respect that. Um, but, you know, if there is a particular person who, say, has a new outdoor space and is interested in, you know, an outdoor sculpture, that may be an opportunity for them to approach an artist that they trust, that they rely on, that they um, really, you know, follow their work in, in depth and to um, ask them to do something in a, in a sort of new outdoor context or in a, in a new material to the artist. So that can, that can be a ripe situation, certainly. All right. Thank you so sure. much, Andrea Cashman from the Andrea Rosen Gallery in New York. I'm Kelsey Hubbard for the Wall Street Journal.